You think they put me on that bus for my good behavior? That's the bus to Blackrock. Blackrock? Yeah, you know. Blackrock Federal Pen. <laughs> Where they put the worst of the bad people. People too bad for the mainland. <laughs> Hello? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Is there a doctor with you? You need to take my message. You need to deliver it for me. It's important. Ask for Atwood. Atwood. Got it. What's the message? Wintermute. Just that. Atwood will know what it means. What's in the case? I have no idea. Should I show you what happened to the last person who lied to me? She didn't look so pretty after I was done. She? Don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. Why do we have to carry this sack of shit? He's heavy as hell! Shut the fuck up! Mathis says carry the asshole. We carry him. They're getting closer. You hear about what happened to Leclerc? Don't believe everything you hear, dumbass. Arrow in the chest, man! The chest! No wolves be doing that. Really? Wolves don't use bows. You figure that out all by yourself? Piss off. Something's hunting us out here, and it ain't just wolves. Mathis will figure it out. What the hell are we even doing out here? Remember the plan. First we get Donner out. Donner! That crazy fucker! This is bullshit! Shh. He's coming back here. Order. Hey! Hey, Mathis! He's finally awake. Well, well. He lives. No thanks to you. Turns out you have a damn hard head, pilot. I told you I was stubborn. Woman. Hmm. Oh, you mean the one you asked about in the dam? Yeah. She's still there. Won't be going anywhere soon. You bastard. Relax, Mackenzie. She had nothing to do with you. How do you... Just some... old lady lost in the woods. Wandered into the dam when I was there. She saw me and wouldn't stop screaming, so... I shut her up. Monster. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. Why are you so worried about her? I... It doesn't matter. Could it have anything to do with this? I told you, I have no idea what that is. Well, it's okay, pilot. We'll find a way to open it very soon. And then we'll both know what's inside. Hey, uh, Mackenzie? Yeah. You look like shit. Shit, Mathis! 
How long we have to carry this heavy bastard for? Shut up, man. That heavy bastard may be our ticket off this rock, so carry him. And like the man says, shut the fuck up. They found us! <laughs> free. Where did he go? You better get him, or there'll be hell to pay. Find the wolves. We gotta find it fast. What the hell? Let him run. He won't get far with those wolves hunting him. Look, you dumbass. Mathis says the pilots are taking off this damn island. Don't you wanna get back to the mainland? But Eller! The arrow in the chest, man! Let's go find this guy before Mathis loses his temper again. You know what he's like when he's angry. Let's go. Between Mattis and the wolves, I have a bad feeling about this place. Better keep going.
rusty saw blade. Might be sharp enough to cut this rope. Looks like I finally found a use for your metal case. <laughs> we have unfinished business, pilot. Stick around. There you are. Well, welcome to the shit show. Okay. So who are you? Unfortunately, I run this place. That doesn't seem to be working out too well for you. Yes, well, normally I'm on the other side of the bars. Name's Franklin. I'm warden here at Black Rock. And you are? Mackenzie. Franklin, what's going on here? The situation is this. You and I are locked up in here. Mathis and his gang of thugs are trying to break someone out of solitary. We're still alive, for now, so they must need us for something. The power's been out for days, and nobody is coming to help. Sounds about right. So, Blackrock? Yeah, Maximum Security Prison. Built a hundred years ago and updated a few times. It's basically a fortress. Out here? You notice the walls on your way in? I was, uh... No. Okay, well they aren't that high or that impressive, really. You know why? No idea. Because whatever dumb son of a bitch tries to escape from this place has to get through about 50 clicks of brutal terrain full of dangerous wildlife before they can even think about finding a road that leads out of here. Well, but we got here. Yeah, but are you gonna get out? About 20 years ago, a pair of cons escaped. They came back three days later, half dead, begging us to take them back. And that was in the middle of summer. I get the picture. 
So, Mathis, you know him? Oh yeah, we go way back. He was in for murder on the mainland about ten years ago. He did seven and then got off on parole. I was warden at one of the federal pens there, and, well, let's just say Mathis isn't sending me any Christmas cards these days. Any idea what he's doing here? Unfortunately, yeah. He's here for Donner. Donner? Who's that? His son. Shit. So, some kind of twisted family reunion. Mathis is bad, but he's old school bad. Murder, larceny, the occasional heist, and grand theft auto. But Donner? He's a chip off the old block, and then some. So, not a good person. Well, he's locked up in Blackrock, isn't he? Listen, Mathis is bad, but Donner is something much worse. I've seen a lot of criminals in my years, and Donner, he's one of those guys that keeps wardens like me up at night. He's evil to the core. He's the kind of guy they make prisons like Black Rock for. There's no redemption for guys like Donner. They aren't here for rehabilitation. There's no way back to living in regular society again. They just want to destroy the world you and I live in. If Mathis is bad, Donner is biblical bad. So, Donner is a very bad guy. Mathis came here to spring him. Tell me again why we aren't dead yet. Well, that's a story. Power went out here a couple of weeks ago now. The backups held for a while, but eventually the cons were able to break out and overwhelm the guards. They grabbed the keys to solitary, went to get Donner, which, well, that would have been the end. But they couldn't open the gates to solitary. Something has them locked down tight and it's driving Mathis crazy. It was bad for us. I haven't seen any of the other guards since they locked me up in here and, well, I fear the worst. And now that Mathis is here? But with the power down, what's keeping the gates locked? There are mechanical fail-safes in the system. Keep in mind, most of this jail is pretty old. But that's not the full answer to why Donner is still locked up. What do you mean? Well, best I can tell, they should have been able to break him out by now. But something, or someone has been getting in the way. You mean, there's someone else still out there? That's exactly what I mean. But who? I don't know. But sounds like Mathis is as mad as a hornet because of them, and that brings me no small pleasure. Shit! They're coming! Get back to your bunk! So, Pilot, you're back in the land of the living. For now. Yeah, but just seeing you gives me a headache. <laughs> well, just seeing you makes me want to hit people. So, Warden, looks like we have a little problem. I still can't get into solitary. You have any idea why that might be? I told you, Mathis, the whole jail is in some kind of weird lockdown. It all happened before you got here. Donner just... <coughs> don't you ever say his name. I, I don't know anything about it. My guys say someone's been tampering with the system. They say it's gotten worse. Every time they take a step closer to breaking into solitary, something new gets in their way. Didn't you used to run this place? Yeah. So you're telling me you have no idea how it works? That's just the thing. Nothing is working the way it's supposed to right now. Bullshit. Stop wasting my time. <coughs> and stop wasting your time. You don't have much left. Unless we get that door open. 
Mathis, I don't know anything. Let me jog your memory. so hard. Like, we might still need him to get him out. Mathis, uh, he doesn't look good. You're going too far. <laughs> Clean him up. It. He looks bad. Yeah, Mathis is getting worse. This shit with Donner has him half crazy. Half crazy? Ever since the bus crash, he's been getting wild like a caged animal. How the hell did he expect this to turn out? You remember Montreal, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, remember that place on St. Catherine's with the girl <laughs> who... Not that, you fucking moron. Remember how Mathis broke out? Oh, yeah. I wasn't there, but I heard about it. Right. You clean up the warden, and I'll tell you all about it. So there was this really tight plan. Mathis had months to set it up. Everyone had their part to play. It was like... out of a fucking movie. So we bust out, and all hell breaks loose. We get to the front gates. <laughs> it's a mess, right? Place is in chaos. And the driver who's supposed to pick us up, he's late. No shit. No shit. So the driver pulls up, like two minutes late. Alarms going off everywhere. It's like the prison guards are coming after us. We're gonna get grabbed at any second. We're yelling at Mathis, come on, man, let's go, let's get out of here. And Mathis just stands there, looking at the fucking driver. Looking like he wants to eat the guy. The driver's terrified. Mathis walks over to the van, slowly. We're all jumping in and yelling to get out, and we... And we can see the fucking guards coming. Like, we are done. We need to get out. Mathis... He pulls the driver out of the van, looks back at us, and with this totally wild look in his eyes, just says, go. Like totally calmly, but with this wild edge. And he just starts beating the living shit out of the driver. Wow. I knew it went bad in Montreal, but I didn't know that story. Yeah, I mean, we took off. And Mathis? It took five cops to pull him off that driver. He cared less about being caught than he did about the driver being late. Crazy fucker. Mathis is not a patient man. He does not like it when a plan does not come together. He does not like to be let down. And right now, his plan for getting Donner out of here is totally fucked. It's just a matter of time before he... Snaps. Like he did in Montreal. He looks bad, eh? What are we going to do? If he dies, it'll be worse for us because we'll take the heat. We need to get him patched up. Well, we passed some kind of first aid building on the way in. Great. Go there and grab some supplies. No fucking we. You hear all those wolves out there? Don't be an asshole. Go do it. You do it. Why do I have to be the one who- Hey, who went back to look for Leclerc when he went missing? No way I'm going back out there. I'll do it. Did you hear something? I said I'll do it. Let me out, and I'll get the supplies. Nobody's talking to you, pilot. Just keep quiet and hope that Mathis doesn't start paying attention to you. He dies and you guys take the rap. You want that? The rap? Take the rap? Who talks like that? Listen, pilot. Why don't you shut the fuck up? What do you have to lose? 
I go out there, get attacked by wolves, no great loss, right? Wait a second, man. This is a bad idea. Matt S. has plans for this guy. Shut up. All right. You're right. You've been out in the bush all this time. I'm sure you figured out how to deal with a few wolves by now. We let you out. You get the supplies. The warden lives and maybe. We keep Mathis distracted so he doesn't lose his shit on you next time. Understood. You let me out. I get the supplies. The warden lives. Ha! <laughs> you see? He learns fast. Time to save the day, pilot. Don't fuck it up. Get going, pilot. The warden doesn't have much time left. And in case you're thinking of running away, remember, we still have your precious case. <sighs> Brutal, deadly cold. How I've missed you. Hope I can still eat this. This will come in handy.
Hope nobody needs this anymore. I could use this. Thank goodness for that. Head feel thick.
That'll come in handy. What have we here?
Hope nobody needs this anymore. Now to find some meds for the warden. I think I can use this. could ask you the same question. Quit fucking around. Who are you? I'm nobody important. Just a bush pilot. My name is... Uh... You forgot your name. My name's Mackenzie. Right. Well, Mr. Mackenzie. Not Mr. Mackenzie. Just Mackenzie. Well, Mr. Bush Pilot Mackenzie. Welcome to the party. You working for those assholes in prison? Which ones? I mean, no. No, I'm not working for them. Then what are you doing out here? Where are you calling me from? Somewhere safe. Look, Mr. McKenzie. Soon you're gonna have to figure out whose side you're on in this little stalemate we have going on. I don't know anything about a stalemate. And I'm not on anyone's side. I'm on my own side. Well, at least you're honest. That's a start. Where are you? And what do you want? Ooh-wee. That question has a long damn answer. Right now, I'm safe from those prison assholes. But I cannot say the same for you. Look, the prison warden. He's injured. I'm just trying to keep him alive. So, they let you out of the prison. Then they're just gonna let you back in? Right. But you aren't helping them? No. Something about this situation, about you, doesn't fit. Look, why don't you tell me where you are and maybe I can help you? <laughs> help me? Shit, man. You can't even help yourself. Are you the one that's messing up the convict's plans? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Either way, I'm not telling you. How do I know you aren't really one of Donner's boys? Trying to trap me. Donner. So you know about him. Wake up, man. This is all about Donner. Don't you get that? And I'm the only thing standing between that fucker rotting away in solitary and an evil bastard being unleashed of the rest of this frozen hellhole. Well, I mean, I hear it's nice in the summer. Take care of yourself, Mr. McKenzie. Those wolves sound pretty hungry to me. I'll do my best. Well, that was weird.
I could use this. Starting to weigh me down. This will be useful. Well, well, what do we have here? That'll come in handy.
Find some place to escape this cold. Looks like someone's been here recently. I think I can use this.
That'll come in handy. you're tougher than you look. I found stuff to help the warden. Medical supplies. Yeah. You'd better get in there to see him. He doesn't look too good. 
But first, you gotta let me frisk you. Mattis would have my balls if I let you sneak a knife in here. Who the, who the hell are you? Relax. I'm your neighbor in cell 15. <laughs> yeah, Mathis is pilot. I cleaned you up the best I could. You might have a broken rib. Maybe more. Mathis opened up a couple of bad cuts on you, so I stitched them up. Gave you a shot of antibiotics. Hopefully that'll prevent serious infection. Thanks. You, you seem to know a fair bit of first aid. Well, I'm married. I, uh, I know a doctor. And, uh, I get hurt a lot. With, with friends like Mathis, I'm not surprised. Oh, Mathis is no friend of mine. We'd, we'd better hurry before the guards come back. There's something I need to tell you about the prison. I'm listening. Solitary. It's, a, it's on its own locking circuits, separate from the rest of the prison. Mathis and his guys, they haven't figured that out yet. But when they do... When they do, they'll get Donner out and there will be hell to pay. They blame you for Donner? Mathis thinks I use some kind of override to keep Donner locked in there, even when the rest of the cells went haywire. Well, did you? No, no, it's, I can't figure it out. But someone is out there messing with the system, messing with Mathis, and keeping Donner inside. I might have an idea of who it is. You see someone out there? Not saw, but I talked to someone on the phone. Right. The old rotary phone system would still work. Redundancy for when the sad phone goes down. Right. Shit, they're coming back. Get back in your cell. You gonna be okay? Just don't let them find you in here. If you get to talk to whoever was on the phone again, do whatever they ask. Cause right now, they are the only thing keeping us all alive. Think we can trust him? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Hey, hey, how'd that happen? Wow. Yeah, must be glitchy. <laughs> These idiots think I'm a fool. They don't think I can figure out what happened here. But they were too chicken shit to take care of the warden themselves. And sent you out into the cold to do their dirty work. And you, risking your life to save a guy you don't even know. What a fucking boy scout. That's me. You still don't get it. Don't you see that in this new world, Mackenzie, Boy Scouts will be the first to die. And yet, here I am. Well, smartass, if you're gonna make yourself useful, you're gonna make yourself useful to me. Am I? Yes, you are. And why am I gonna do that? Well, because... Hard case. Right. Get back out there, pilots. Go find out what's wrong with this place. What do you have in mind? Well, obviously there's something wrong with the power. Though he's been no help, a map in the warden's office shows this place has its own power plant, so... Go check it out. Give me some power.
so I can open the gates to solitary. Right. Power. Solitary. Got it. And Mackenzie. Yes? Don't dawdle. Or... the Warden gets it for real this time. Math is said to give you this. That doesn't look like a coat. That's cause it isn't. It's a bit of a map. Shows the way to the dam. Looks like you can just follow the power lines or something. It's cold out here. I won't find the dam if I freeze before I get there. Do I look like a guy who gives a shit? You don't want to freeze out here? Then get moving! Bastards. At least this map looks real enough. <laughs> 